Welcome to the Government Provider Management System training video series. In this video, we will demonstrate logging into GPMS and what to expect if it is your first time logging into the portal. Specifically, we will cover accessing the appropriate GPMS portal for various tasks, logging into GPMS with Vanguard Federated Authentication Service, logging into GPMS with your MyID, and the terms of use you must agree to when logging into GPMS for the first time. We will begin by navigating to the GPMS portal selection screen. In a web browser, visit health.gov.au forward slash GPMS. Next, click the tile labelled Log into GPMS. You will see a page displaying two login options for the GPMS portal, and buttons to log in for each. You can log into the approved provider portal to view information about your approved provider entity as it existed under the Aged Care Act 1997 up to 31st October 2025. Access this portal to view information such as previous information about your organisation and personnel, as well as star ratings, care minutes targets, quality indicator program data, provider operations, and quarterly financial report. In this portal, you can also preview information before it is published for the next period for the finance and operations and star ratings. You can log into the Registered Provider Portal to view information about your registered provider entity as it exists under the Aged Care Act 2024 from 3rd of November 2025. Access this portal to view and maintain information about your organisation and to submit registered provider reporting such as 24-7 registered nurse reports, quarterly financial reports and quality indicator program data. Click on either button labelled Log into GPMS to take you to the respective portal login page. You will be taken to the login using page. Please note that the following steps are the same for both GPMS portals. As you can see, you can choose to log in with either the Vanguard Federated Authentication Service or MyID Digital Identity. The login method you need to select will depend on the organisational provider you work for and what details you are provided with during your onboarding. If you are uncertain, speak to your organization administrator. To log in using the Vanguard Federated Authentication Service, select the option to log in with Vanguard Federated Authentication Service. A page will be displayed requiring you to choose to authenticate using either a local system or by using the Vanguard Federated Authentication Service. Leave the selection in the drop-down as VFAS Authentication, then click Next. The Authentication Service page will be displayed. On this page, you will need to select the organisation you represent. In the search bar, begin by typing the name of the organisation, then select the correct value from the suggestions in the drop-down. Once you have made your selection, click Continue. You will now be taken to the GPMS landing page. Now let's take a look at accessing GPMS using the MyID Digital Identity. On the Login Using screen, select the option to log in with MyID Digital Identity. The page will display asking you to select an authentication method. Ensure MyID Authentication is selected. Then click Next. The Select Your Identity Provider page will be displayed. Look for the tile labelled MyID and click Select MyID. The My ID page will be displayed. In the field labelled My ID Email, enter the email address you use for My ID, then click Get Code. The My ID page will display an authorization code. Log into your My ID app on your device and enter this code. If you work for more than one organisation, the Relationship Authorization Manager screen will display and allow you to select the organisation you represent. Select the radio button of the organisation you want to access GPMS with, then click Continue. If this is the first time you are logging into GPMS, the Terms of Use page will be displayed, where you will need to accept the Terms of Use. If you have previously accepted the Terms of Use in a GPMS portal, you will not be required to accept the Terms of Use again. Click Terms of Use to view the Terms of Use in their entirety. Once you have read them, select Yes. Then click Next. If you select No, you will be advised your GPMS registration cannot be completed. 
you will then be shown the verification code screen. You will need to enter the short verification code that is sent to your company email in the text field. And finally, click verify to complete the verification. You will now be taken to the GPMS portal landing page. Thank you for watching this training video about logging into GPMS. Take the time to view other training videos in this series on adding and editing users in GPMS.